What a wonderful story we have here. We're back with Lizzie Velasquez, who's sharing her story about how she overcame adversity and how it led her to find her passion. That's right. When you were in high school, a video came out of saying that you were the world's ugliest woman, but we have a... We want to take a look at the YouTube video right now. I don't even know why I clicked on it, but I did, and that's when I lost it. Calling me a monster or asking why my parents didn't abort me. Kill it with fire. I wish you were dead. Just pick up a gun and end my life. There's research that shows that if you ask kids to define what bullying means, they think it means getting beat up on the playground. It's hard when you grew up with that mindset to understand that there's a new phenomenon going on. How in the world can I forgive the people who told me to kill myself? I can only mm. imagine what was mm. going through your mind. How did you decide you wanted to fight back? I realized that if I fought back with negativity, I would get absolutely nowhere. And over time, I realized if I continued to make myself better, if I continued to reach for my goals, I would show them that their words aren't going to define me. Wow. Well, we also, there's a documentary, it's called Brave Heart. It features her journey to becoming a motivational speaker because that's what you are now. Mm -hmm. And you're very proud of it. So let's take a look at that. Am I going to let the people who said kill it with fire define me? No. I'm not sure what it was about the TED Talk and what I said in it, but it changed everything. She did a TED Talk that knocked me out. Please welcome Lizzie Velasquez. And I knew this is my purpose. This is what I meant to do for the rest of my life, because I like to think that I'm not only telling my story, I'm telling everyone's story. All I know is being knocked down and getting back up. I'm not going to go away until they listen. Lizzie's on a mission to pass the first federal anti-bullying called the Safe Schools Improvement Act. And what do you hope to accomplish with this bill? During the process of filming, we were looking for what bills were put in place to protect kids in schools from bullying. And we were shocked to find out that there isn't one. The Safe Schools Improvement Act has been trying to be passed for eight years and cannot get put to the floor. So we went to Capitol Hill to lobby, sit down with different congressmen and women. We're still fighting the fight to get it put to the floor, but if this bill is passed, mm -hmm. it will include the words harassment and bullying in the school's code of conduct. Mm -hmm. It will also keep statistics of instances of bullying in every classroom. Mm -hmm. Because if you look up now, what is the st statistics of bullying in New York or Texas? There's no record of it. So to be able to keep track and have teachers in the classroom know how to handle when they see other kids being bullied and know how a plan of action to handle it instead of just saying, stop doing that, why did you do it? I'm hoping it'll finally get passed and be able to protect kids everywhere. Does the book, does the book, or excuse me, not the book, the, the, um, does the bill include uh, the notion that uh, bullying happens outside now the four walls of the school, that it actually happens more often on, on the Internet? I think that that's something that's a whole nother, mm -hmm. a whole nother thing. Um, you're absolutely right, though. With cyberbullying, it happens 24-7. Mm -hmm. Kids are getting phones and electronics at such a young age now that it's not just getting picked on at the playground anymore. Mm -hmm. I, I was getting ahead of myself. Behind. Yeah, we were talking about that yeah. this morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. no. I was getting ahead of myself. I said book, and you have a book. You have tell a book. Us, <laughs> yeah, tell us about your book. I do, I do. I've always had a passion for writing. I've written three books, uh, just different advice books geared towards young teens on how the struggles I've gone through, and this is how I got through them. This is how you can get through yours as well. My fourth book that I'm working on now is something I'm really, really excited about. It has stories that I've never shared with anyone. Mm -hmm. It'll be geared towards an older audience, life lessons that I learned throughout the process of making the film and personal struggles that I have. So I'm really excited about it. Well, you are a wonderful example that it's you not are. what happens to you in life, it is what you do about it. What right? you do about it. You Absolutely. seem to be very much at peace with yourself. There's such a, a beauty and grace that emanates from you. Thank so you. I, I, I was going to ask you if you have any anger towards anyone, but it doesn't seem to me that you do. I, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I am so grateful to have that 
bad video come out because it gave me the biggest platform in my life to be able to help other people. And even though a lot of people told me the world would be a better place without me, I've been able to overcome it and I want to share the message to everyone that will listen that you were meant to be put on this earth for a reason. Yeah. You are enough just being you. For you. Yeah, Love is much more communicable than hate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people out there who are suffering and don't know what to do with them. They can hear your voice and what you have to offer. It will help them. I'm sure you've saved lives as well. Thank you. It's an honor to be able to be the voice for those that aren't sure how to use their own. And it's an honor to have you here. And it's thank lovely you. to know you. Thank you thank for sharing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So be sure to check out Brave Heart currently out in selected theaters nationwide. And again, thank you so much, Lizzie. It's thank such an honor. you.